The next step is to define some handlers so that we've actually got something we're serving. Uh, let's start by serving on root a uh, page that just says says uh, hello or says something. Um, and uh, I'm going to make certain that I get served by insisting that it's got a high priority. So here, I did not use the abstract path system. I just said I want to serve from slash. Here I've said, uh, here I've provided the name of the handler predicate. This will be called a one more parameter on the end, uh, which is the request object. The request object is always a list. It's got a, a series of well-defined compound terms in it that tell you various things about the, uh, the list, about the request. Uh, so you can find out things like the peer and uh, what protocol it was called with and what port it was on and that sort of thing. Um, including, of course, the path and the, uh, and the uh, search string. Okay, um, so it's going to call that with one more, and that's what will actually handle our request. And here it is. And you might wonder, well, why would you pass a constant parameter? It's because you can do lots of setting things up that uh, handle multiple things. In this case, um, in this case, I want to be able to say whatever I want world. So I could say hello world, or I could say goodbye world. And here, in fact, I've made a second handler on slash goodbye that says goodbye world. So um, this predicate is expected, is called with current output set to um, set so that you can output to it and that output will be interpreted as a CGI document. Uh, this is actually important that it's not just raw bytes out the, the port but a CGI document because that way you get a um, you get a uh, chance to set the status and a few other things. So in this case, we're going to do the very crudest thing we can. We're just going to use format to emit the string, the, the, the web page as a string. Uh, this is a header. Uh, there's, of course, one, one header that's required on uh, HTTP documents, and that's the content type. So we will supply that, and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then we will uh, supply the uh, actual text that we want to put out. Okay, let's see how that works. And here is the uh, here's the web page. Uh, you can see I'm just serving on localhost now. And I have a emitted a plain text document that says hello world. So all of this can be very simple. If you don't need a lot of stuff, there isn't a lot of needed boilerplate.